interior design. Let's let's. Can you lay out some of the misnomers about your industry? Because we hear it a lot of like, one, I can do it myself. It's too expensive. Too What's expensive. the point? Those yeah. types of things. Okay, so I have gone through my own, which I can't speak about, process of how I've developed a more efficient way of getting things done with contractors. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's called the EED process. That's my That's my term for it. Um, but basically what it is, is construction is not regulated by the state of Iowa. That's not a secret. Um, most disputes between homeowners and contractors, is it's like 40% lawyers get paid, so they are not going to help figure out a problem to solve the solution between the contractors mm -hmm. and the clients. So I feel like I, it's my job as the middle person to see what the problem is and I always want to come up with a solution and I tell my girls that all the time I even have a sign hanging in my store if you see a problem find the solution mm -hmm. right um, so the problem is is that since it's not regulated it means that anybody can be a general contractor there's no tests or codes or anything like that you mean like I could be a general you contractor could, my grandma could be a general contractor that's Your terrifying dog could be a general contractor <laughs> yes Ooh, my dad would well, be a good and, the, and the problem then equates when the economy goes really good and there's mm -hmm. not enough out there, what happens is people who see their general contractors making money, doing mm -hmm. what they do and think they can go out on their own and do it, but they don't really have all those little nuggets mm -hmm. in the back of their pocket to know and clients get hurt. That's when clients right. say, I'm never gonna do any remodel into my home. I don't wanna do anything. I'm just gonna sell it as is and just find something new. Mm -hmm. And it becomes so fresh and it doesn't have to be that way. And I tell people now that the EED process, which I'll get into in a second, is basically like insurance, right? You buy insurance to make things, if something goes wrong, it goes Mitigate smoothly. Risk. Yes, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. So basically hiring a designer, whether it's myself, my company, or somebody else. Um, it's basically most designers in the era that I've talked to, they do have, have the same documents and everything. We just take it a step further and make sure they have everything they need for the contractor. One, it's gonna protect their, it's gonna give them insurance, but it's also gonna protect their bottom line, which is their dollar and their budget, because mm -hmm. instead of working off allowances, so instead of saying, I want my bathroom remodeled, contractor A comes in and says it's gonna be 35, contractor B comes in and says it's 50, because you don't know where they're getting their product from because you don't think to ask those questions. It could be from the restore or it could be from plum supply. Like mm -hmm. you have no idea where they're getting the stuff to come up with those numbers. So because you don't know and you don't have the documents, that creates a problem. So that's where the insurance comes in. So you get the designs done, you see the renderings, you see the visuals, you can get on board with the design and you're like, yes, this is good. We get all the things selected and everything ready to go in these documents. Then you can give those to your contractor or contractors and you should get apple to apple bids. The only difference should be because you have all the, the design being done, you have all the products selected and our documents are very detailed out. There should be no difference in price unless one contractor gets you know, a less price on a flooring than another because of volume. That would mm -hmm. be the only other caveat. But, but it should be apples to apples and you should be able to get a bid out that way. The other thing that does is because you are not working off of allowances and let's say you're redoing your kitchen, the first thing they have you do is appliances. Well, appliances, you might have a $3,700 budget, but the appliances you want are like, you know, day four appliances, and that's gonna be 19,000, so you're already <laughs> right. over budget there. But you're like, I'll make it up as they go along. There's no making it up as you go along. That is like a falsity, mm -hmm. because you're gonna have to skimp on so much, and when it comes down to like your plumbing fixtures and your, your light fixtures, that's the two most common, mis not mistakes, but things that people have to compromise on mm -hmm. as they go through the process of making their selections because they're like, oh my gosh, we're so far over budget, there's nothing to do, I'm gonna have to go with a four inch center faucet, which means you can't take it out down the road and replace it with a nice eight inch center faucet because your holes are drilled in your countertop. Right. specifically too. for that. Yes, so then, then now you're talking like more money down the road and you're not getting what you want. It creates problems. So having all the documents will alleviate a lot of that right off the bat and then you submit the documents when you're like hey Jody team mm -hmm. this is great they're going to submit it to the contractors contractors come back with bids just like we had a client come back she's like our budget's 120 and I'm like well we don't know what other people are going to charge so we're just going to design it how you want it and then we can edit from there mm -hmm. and the budget and it came back at, I think 177 so now we're all getting creative together making like okay do you absolutely have to have those dining room cabinets do you have to have 
that flooring? Can we do it in a different way? Mm -hmm. Can we change cabinet styles of the door's profile to bring the cost down? Like what's important to you? Mm -hmm. And those are the decisions they can make and say, you know what, we're gonna keep everything the way it is. We're gonna wait a year, save up money and do it the way we want to. Or, you know, we're gonna make some changes and then we're just gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. But that way they know going into it.